You're welcome. Thanks for coming. I like this class. Me too. I like this class. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it would be too heavy with... Uh, not necessarily, no. <laughs> oh, very beautiful. All rolled up the way I like it. That's like the way I like it too. So, top tip when you're rolling your 120 inch tape measures, start at the big numbers. <laughs> <laughs> so, your low numbers are loose. Yes, because then if you only need to measure nine inches, just pull off nine inches worth. You don't have to pull off 120 or 111 to get started at nine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like it much better. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to go rescue that thing. Yeah. Here, I'm leaving Chelsea in charge of the face. Yeah, you just got to push it down. Okay. I'm here for real now. Okay. I didn't introduce without you, don't worry. Oh, you could have. I could have, but I feel like I like when we don't know when who's saying what. Oh yeah, there's no script. No, we don't script it. No. <laughs> I have to write a script. I'm no good at that. Uh, welcome to Friday afternoon on Facebook. We're live on Facebook and YouTube. Yeah. You sure? Um, it's Friday. It's beautiful and sunny out. Is it ever? I heard it's supposed to rain this weekend, though. There was like eight raindrops last night. It's supposed to rain like all day Saturday and Sunday. Well, that sounds like sewing weather to me. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> I have some embroidery to do. Very and some sewing. I uh, have some sewing too. Yeah. What are you sewing? Uh, just hemming pants. And, you know, I have a stuffed animal halfway done. Nice. Well, it's mostly done. What would you call it when all you have to do is stuff and sew the little holes? I would say you're like 95% of the way done. I have two of the spots sewn out of six. Okay. 94% done? Maybe. 97% done? I feel like I could have stuffed more stuffing in him, but it was my first stuffed animal, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah. It's for my nephew. Perfect. He'll love it. Yeah. He won't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. So today we had our day two of our Bernie and a new owner sewing class. Um, we managed to get a couple more classes set up internally. Um, they haven't all been posted to the web yet, but we can tell you about them now. For sure can. And I then they'll be. calendar. You should grab the calendar. We <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I need the calendar closer to us. I'm really excited about some of these classes. I okay. There's one that I'm most excited for. Most, Can you guess? Oh, I know which one you're most excited for. Should we talk about the serious stuff first? New owners classes. Okay, if we have to. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. New owners classes. They're uh, fun. The next one coming up is next. Thursday, Friday, it's Brothers Sewing New Owners. So we got a Brother Sewing Machine. Um, there's still some space in that one. I know a few more people signed up today. Um, the New Owners class after that is our Bernina Software New Owners class. And Cam was making phone calls to people who have already bought the V9 software. Yep. Um, so he's left some messages and had some callbacks. But if you just want to see what embroidery software could do for you, um, you can sign up for class um, teaching it as a lecture. So you can watch from home on Zoom or watch in the classroom. Whatever works for you. We've got 60-inch TVs. It's a pretty nice place to sit and watch a lecture. And we have nice whirly chairs. We do. And we have coffee and air conditioning. The air conditioning. Mm. Yeah. That's what makes me very happy, too. I know. Um, <laughs> so that one's May 19th and 26th. 
Um, also coming up in the very near future, uh, we're going to do another run of um, Quilting First Class starting May 24th and running for four weeks. Um, so if you need some foundational quilting skills, this would be a great class for you. That is such a fun class. I love seeing all of the quilts get done. I know. If you missed our picture, you might have seen our picture in our last e-news. Of um, the last bunch. We had a whole, I think, nine students uh, in the photo. Yeah. Uh, and it was awesome. Yeah. They all turned out so amazing. I know. They're great. I love them. Um, other things coming up still in May. Uh, we have some more demo days. Mm -hmm. um, so May 15th, uh, we've got a serger demo day happening. Sure do. And uh, sergers can do way more stitches than just a four thread of serge stitch, which is what you'd find inside most of your garments. Um, and sergers and cover stitches fall together into the same category of things. So uh, we'll have all a whole bunch of our sergers set up that day with all different stitches. I love sergers. Um, They're so you can fun. kind of see what some of those other stitches are. So you can sign up for serger demo days for the 15th. And we have two more long arm demo days coming up as well. We had one today. I know we had a few people stop in and try panto work on our long arm. And the next one is free motion, um, which would cover both our sit down and stand up models. That's awesome. Yeah. So you could come and try both, really get a feel for what you think you might need in your sewing room. Yeah. And you get to see how big they are. Yeah. So that's great. If you have space, you could do the big one. Yeah. And if, if you have smaller space, you can do the sit down. Or you could or come and rent. <gasps> or you could come and rent. Or you could decide that long arming is not for you, and you could bring us your quilts and we'll quilt it for you. Yep. Quilt by checkbook. I love it. Yep. Visa. Nice and speedy. Anti-Visa can pay my for my quilting. Anti-Visa. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, other classes that went on to the schedule, uh, some more sewing new owners classes um, scheduled in July. Uh, both Bernina and brother. So 6th and 7th of July, we've got Bernina sewing, which is the class we just finished today. Uh, brother sewing, uh, May. what month is that? That's July. July 13th July. and 14th July. is brother sewing. <laughs> I got this. I know what month we're in. And then on the 20th of July, Bernina embroidery new owners. Yep. And the 21st is brother embroidery new owners. Yes. Yeah. So. But. But this is the one I'm most excited for. I know, I was, I was avoiding that. You were avoiding it? Well, because it's Cause not I, like a new owner's class. Because I'm so excited for it? Yeah. So but you, it you, is kind of new owners. You can talk about it, though. But it's kind of new owners, too. Totally. Explain. Right? What are we doing? Oh. <laughs> we're going to do the two scoops pillow from Kimberbell. So we're doing a bench pillow class. Um, lots of people have asked through the years if we would do a bench pillow class. We are doing a bench pillow class. Um... The two scoops uh, bench pillow, uh, very timely for summer. Oh, yeah. You'll have it done before summer because we're aiming to have it done by the 19th of July because you're going to assemble it all in class. We have three days. Yeah. And we're going to learn some scan and cut in that class. Yep. There is, uh, Kimberbell gives out uh, SVG files, which we can cut on the Brother Scan and Cut. So we'll mm -hmm. talk about that in class. Um, we're going to be doing some specialty applique, including, uh, heat transfer vinyl, um, some embroidery leather. There's puffy embroidery. Yeah, there is. I saw there's some super puffy stuff in here. Yeah. Reminds me of Annie soft and stable. Yeah. And there's clear vinyl too. Yep. And there's buttons we can attach. Yeah. Actually, I think my most favorite foot from Bernina might be the button so on foot. Totally. It's great. So if you didn't know that you don't have to hand sew your buttons anymore, you know now. Yeah, there's feet. we can teach you. There's feet for that. There's feet for that. Um, so pretty much if you if you're wanting to sign up for this class, um, the absolute bare minimum will be to have the embroidered design mm -hmm. and the very long list of fabrics that you want. Um, if going and picking out your own fabrics is a little overwhelming because there's a lot of color in here, um, there's a fabulous fabric kit available. Okay. And that would give you all the fabrics that are listed on the back of the shirt. Sure would. And with the right amounts to make the bench pillow. So you're not having to cut by like a half meter of fabric when you only need like one long skinny strip. Yeah. So uh, really like it's a much more economical way of getting this bench pillow made is to get the fabric kit. And then all the really fun extras. Um, instead of having to buy a whole roll of silver glitter vinyl, 
uh, you can get the embellishment kit, which has just the size of chunk you actually need to do the project. Yeah. Um, so those uh, and the fabric kit. And then you'll need some thread and stabilizer. We've got the supply list all made for that. And you... we missed the best part. What's the best part? You don't need a huge embroidery machine for this. No, we can do it all with a 5x7 hoop. 5x7. So 5x7, uh, if you know your hoops in metric, that's 130 by 180 millimeters or the Bernina Large Oval. Yep. There's a couple 5x7 designs in here that we can make in a 6x10 to reduce hooping. But uh, if you have a 5x7, you're locked and loaded. Good yeah. To go. Um, we'll also talk about adding uh, background quilting to the pillow. Um, Kimberbell's making uh, background quilting designs to coordinate with just about all their projects. So the background quilting on here is really cute. And you can do that before you do the applique. So it'll be behind your applique. So we'll talk about how to do that in class. Um, you'll learn how to square up these blocks so your pillow goes together properly. Uh, really, the amount of techniques you'll learn over this three weeks is just... Massive. Massive. But we've spread them over three weeks, so we have a lot of time to get it done. Yeah. Um, and we'll be recording class, so if you're one of those people who happens to have, a, you know, your one week of camping booked in the middle of that, um, class will be recorded and we'll, we'll be able to get you through it. Yeah. Yeah. But you could join us in store or online. Probably have a little bit of homework in between classes, but not all that much. Yeah. And this is good for in, like newbies. If you've never embroidered on your machine. Come and hang out with me. Yeah. I love getting to start people off. I know. It is my <laughs> favorite thing. <laughs> yeah. I, I like my experts too, but. They don't it's need your help. so this. fun. They don't need me as much. Because they've learned and they're capable on their own. They are. They're <laughs> awesome. Yeah. But so are my newbies. Yeah. They're so, fantastic. Yeah. Very excited for this project. And yeah. Think about this as once you've done one bench pillow, you'll be able to work through any of Kimberbell's yeah. bench pillow designs or their quilts. Because their cutting instructions are all very similar. Uh, lots of the methodologies to do the applique is similar from project to project but when you haven't done one before it's hard to know where you're starting because it's it's quite a sizable cut list at the very beginning and mm -hmm. some project management of how to keep yourself organized on something yeah they don't use pieces. the big chunk where you're supposed to use a little chunk and now you don't have enough fabric yeah we have a tip for that we've got we've got ways of helping you so that's on the schedule um we have some other things in, in pencil format i'm going to hold up this is how Chelsea and I calendar plan. <laughs> so until they're written in pen and actually on the paper, they're not real. That all gets transferred into a calendar. So I don't double book appointments with my kids or myself. And then they get scheduled and then scheduled internally and then posted out to the web. So a couple steps to get things up and going. Uh, but there's a couple other classes that uh, we have most of the structure figured out for. You sure do. And some rough dates will be available soon. And the post-its will turn into not post-its. Yeah. Yeah. The post-its are just so we can move them around easier, not have to erase things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't write very neatly. <laughs> oh, oh, the other thing, uh, we have a guest instructor coming in August. Yeah, we do. Um, so more information on that should be coming out next week. Uh, we have uh, Deborah Louie coming from Australia. She's a Bernina educator. Um, we were finalizing our class offerings with her this week. So she'll be here for three days. Uh, that would be August 8th, 9th, and 10th. Uh, some of you answered the survey as to which classes you would be interested in. You will know when we have those classes scheduled. We'll let you know. May the odds be ever in your favor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is already in there. Is it there? I was going to put it in. Yeah, no, she is there. It's like, it, she's not on a sticky note or. No, ooh, she's, she's like in she's the digital in, calendar. In, in, in. <laughs> she's in the digital calendar. It's not changing now. No. <laughs> no, that's that's in stone. Yes. There is no delete. No. No. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's scheduled. Um, yeah. Super excited to have more classes going. I heard another couple of class ideas today that. They're going to roll around in my head Ooh. for a little bit. But I'm not. They're going to roll around in my head a little bit. 
Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll have to have a chat later. Yeah, perhaps. I'm curious. Uh, new fabric in store today. It's so cute. We have Lori Holt's B Vintage. Whole collection just landed. The whole thing. There's more than what we have behind us. I ran out of space. Yeah, and so, so cute. So pretty. I love the colors. Yeah. They're warm and... They're warm. They are. Most of them. Some of them are cool colors. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. But a very good rainbow across the line. Oh, yeah. Top of that jelly roll is just gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to sort it. And then I just got chaotic, but it was fun. That's okay. Because it all just goes well together. So, jelly rolls, two and a half inch strips. Pretty. Charm squares, five inch squares, and the whole collection. If you just want little bits. And then the 10 inch squares. So cute. And if if there's kind of like lots of these that you like, but you don't love every one, or you want, or you're like me and you're like, I really like the pinks. And the oranges, but I don't want the blues. I would want the blues. I know you would. We could buy a jelly roll and split it. We could get two and split it in half. Oh. I'll take the colors I like, you take the colors you like. Oh, I was just going to say, if if you really like like the pinks that Lori Holt does, we've got other Lori Holt in the store, too. Ooh, and her sure colors do. are quite consistent, line to line. So if you wanted to do like an all-pink Lori Holt quilt. You could. You could. And there'd be lots of variety. So much. So I'm, Don and I were talking about maybe doing bundles of just the pinks or just the oranges. That would look so beautiful. Yeah. Because sometimes, sometimes you just want like a tone on tone thing happening. Mm -hmm. Or like all pinks and whites. It'd be lots of fun. (laughs) I love it. Love it. Um, Is there anything else we're going to share today? I think that was it. I think it's Friday afternoon. We did all the really exciting things. Mm-hmm. All the classes. I know. Those are the best part of the day. Yeah. I love classes. And then we're back next week for more. More classes. <laughs> yes. So, uh, check out Two Scoops. Uh, it'll be posted to the web uh, early next week. And, or ask in store. Shoot us an email. Um, I know some of you were out there thinking about it already and we'll be in touch now that we have dates yay yes so uh in the meantime uh there's today's the fifth there's 10 days left in the brother sale <gasps> 10 days that's ten it days. yes and the brother pays you back sale uh you get money back on a machine from brother so the machines are on sale plus there's money back that is an excellent deal yes and there's a long arm sale going on and the foot of the month is the Bernina walking foot for Bernina. And there, last I checked, there was about 400 bolts in the clearance section. So if you're just needing fabric to for, practice on, to practice on, or to use, yeah. or to love, there's lots of really good fabric in clearance, right? But yeah. Some really beautiful stuff. Yeah, that's what we have for you guys today. Have a fabulous weekend. Enjoy the weather. We'll see you Monday. Yes. But we're open tomorrow. We're open tomorrow. But Leah and I will see.